Yes, the big news is all about erythritol. And erythritol is most commonly in monk fruit, as well as stevia, as well as many of your cereals. And what about the ketogenic diet? So many of those foods have erythritol. And unfortunately, this news is not good. It takes many years to hear these types of studies that are now coming out, particularly about erythritol. And according to a study in the journal Nature Medicine, doctors have linked erythritol to improper blood clotting, heart attack, stroke, and even death. But don't panic because this does not affect every human being. The studies were primarily done with those who have cardiac risks, cardiovascular problems, those who have been treated, as well as those who have diabetes. And erythritol has been used in so many foods today because of the fact that it does not spike blood sugar. And if you're on a ketogenic diet, Atkins diet, or just on a low carbohydrate diet, I'm sure that you're taking in quite a bit of erythritol and not even realizing it. And because stevia and monk fruit are about 200 to 400 times sweeter than sugar, just a small amount of this erythritol is commonly used, which adds the sugar-like crystalline appearance and texture consumers expect. Blood clotting normally occurs when there's damage to a blood vessel. Platelets immediately begin to adhere to the cut edges of the vessel and release chemicals to attract even more platelets. And one of the biggest problems that we face in cardiovascular disease is abnormal clotting. If the clotting becomes obstructive to the heart, we call it a heart attack. Or if it's obstructive in the blood vessels going to the brain, we call it a stroke. And in this study, 30 grams was enough to make blood levels of erythritol go up a thousand fold. And it remained elevated above the threshold necessary to trigger and heighten clotting risk for the following two to three days. So please, I'm not here to frighten you or scare you. I'm just making you aware of what science is teaching us today. And in review, we have monk fruit and stevia, and many times you'll see erythritol inside of it, and many people don't even realize it. Yes, it's zero net carbs, zero glycemic index, zero calories, and it's a one-to-one -one replacement for sugars. But just be aware, do your homework, stay proactive. So I hope this video serves you well, and I only wish you good health. Please leave your comments below, share this with your friends and family, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.